Hey, everybody, Michael Snyder, Pacific Northwest Weather Watch. Today is September 18th, and right now we are looking at the mid-level water vapor. We've got a couple things going on here. We've got the next batch of energy out over the Pacific Ocean. It's going to bring a frontal system here as we go through this weekend. We've also got some of the remnants of tropical storm storm mario moving across portions of california and that moisture will be starting to spread northbound into oregon over the next couple of days here as well and we'll take a look at those details we'll take a look at the extended forecast and see just how active we look to get here in towards the later portion of september so here we are with the visible satellite imagery as we speak i'm going to update that just to make sure there we go yes it is and you can see there are some low clouds across some of the willamette valley here some of the coastal range is dealing with some sunshine this morning a little bit of sun out there across some of the Puget Sound. There is some low clouds up towards southwest BC, however, as well. And there are some sunny skies east of the mountains. We still have some fire smoke floating around out there. The Bear Gulch fire producing quite a bit of smoke the last couple of days. A sugarloaf fire, some rattlesnake fire, places still producing some smoke. And if we take a look at that here today, uh, this is what we're expecting from the high resolution rapid refresh. It still shows it producing some decent amounts. It wasn't as bad yesterday. It was the day previous to that. So yesterday was Wednesday. The day on Tuesday it was producing some pyrocumulus clouds and a bit more smoke. And yesterday was still producing decent amounts. And today it continues to show that producing some decent amounts of smoke. And you can see places like Lake Chelan, Wenatchee still dealing with the sugar low fire. And this is additional smoke from the Bear Gulch fire that may additionally get brought back down across portions of western Washington there and we scroll on in through Saturday morning maybe some of that smoke from the Bear Gulch will move across some of the Puget Sound there in western Washington as well so if we look at the fire weather dashboard it looked down towards the mixing heights and they're not nearly as high as they were a couple days ago here so we're not expecting the big plume of smoke to be quite as tall as what it was uh, two days ago again and the uh, Pacific Northwest or Washington smoke blog here, uh, the Bear Gulch fire, you know, it grew significantly here a couple of days ago. Uh, some estimates had it towards 20,000. Uh, right now we're just calling it up over 15,000 acres burned. The largest fire across the Olympic Peninsula in probably over 70 years, a very significant fire for that area. So check out the uh, Washington Smoke blog for more information if you want. And uh, this weather station here, very fun. It does its own smartphone app, and it's got a Doppler radar that overlays on that. You can still order one of these and get it by the time our fall weather will start to set in. And I like to kind of look here to see where new stations are going, and I like to look at my neighborhood. I like to walk by houses and see if anybody has any of these where they are mounted, and you can view them from the street. But, yeah, you can see we're getting quite a few of them out there. The more the better because these stations actually talk to each other as well. It's pretty fun. I mean, you don't know it, but they're kind of comparing rainfall rates that they get using their haptic rain gauge. So very fun stuff here. This weather station, highly recommend it. Now, a European model. So what is going on as we speak? Well, if we put this into motion, you can see what is that tropical storm remnants of Mario. And that again, is going to push up towards the Oregon Cascades as we go through the day tomorrow. We're still dealing with some of this slight ridging here and we're getting some decent days out of it. You know, some nice sunny skies. It was pretty warm across portions of the Pacific Northwest yesterday. But but then you can see the change that is coming here as we go through the day Saturday. It starts to push across western BC, Vancouver Island. And then we spring a pretty decent frontal system across western Washington. Take a look at just how much of that will impact portions of western Oregon here as well. But definitely cool down coming with this. Hopefully dropping some precipitation on places like the Bear Gulch Fire. Maybe a little bit for the Sugar Low Fire here as well. And then we scroll off into the future. And then another ridge builds here yet again. And then we've got another tropical system. The remnants from this one down here would be Narda uh, way down south. And this would likely come up and start to make its approach towards the state of Oregon here as well, up the west coast of North America. How far north will that moisture get? Good question here, but we're going to be watching that through the extended forecast also. Now, if we take a look at what how that would play out, again, as we go through the day on Friday, you can see some of this thunderstorm activity. That would be the remnants of Mario moving back up over Oregon. The frontal system here pushing across Haida Gwaii in towards western British Columbia. We put that into motion a little bit more. We go through Saturday again, some of that tropical moisture moving across portions of Oregon and northern California right along the border there, Siskiyou's. And then the frontal system is really swooping across the areas we go through Saturday night. This is very late Saturday night as it's impacting B.C., South Southwest BC, Washington coast, pushes across Seattle Metro very early on Sunday morning, perhaps dropping some uh, decent amounts of rainfall. So Seattle may be getting up towards four tenths, half tenths of it 
half an inch of rainfall and then pushing across some of western oregon here look at the totals here more in a moment and then we scroll up into the future and this frontal system you know notice how this hangs up here with this fairly robust low north of Haida Gwaii, but this frontal system is losing its punch dramatically as we go through the first portion of next week then you can see the next tropical storm remnant starting to move up towards the california oregon border as another weak frontal system starts to approach from the west now if we take a look at daily two meter max temperature uh, seattle today there's 72 74 look at medford 89 some 80s out there and all the way up into southwest bc there's some decent temperatures to be had a, a bit warmer here east of the mountains also some mid and upper 80s boise checking in at 85 looks like bend to 83 and then we scroll on in through saturday sunday the frontal system starts to come across the area and you can see some of those temperatures being suppressed no doubt and then we bounce back a little bit here as some ridging comes uh, in advance of that next frontal system and we get that tropical moisture trying to move up from the south as we go through the day on tuesday now taking a look here this is a wider view of things here this is the gulf of alaska here's the state of alaska washington to the bottom right oregon down here as well and this is the artificial intelligence so we put this into motion and you can see that next frontal system there it is on sunday swooping across the area build a ridge there and what's this next frontal system going to do again that one looks like it's losing a bit of its punch as it moves towards washington state but we'll be watching that on a daily basis and then you can see the gulf of alaska trough kind of get active here as we go towards the following weekend and again on into the later portion of september continues to show some of this activity with us not going to get caught up in these details just yet that's purely just a fantasy forecast at this stage now if we look at the gfs what does it show well it's agreeing in on that sunday frontal system swoop through here then temporary ridge builds weak frontal system and you can kind of see the tropical moisture trying to move up from the south gulf of alaska troughing it's going and it would break bringing some frontal systems in here as we went through september 25th we'll see how that goes but yeah it continues to show troughing in and around the pacific northwest towards the end of the month and looking at the gfs it, it's a little bit uh, uh, interesting to look and see some of these stronger storms but they are tending to remain north so as they look off through the extent of forecast you can see this deep low out here that would be no threat there to bc or i should say southwest bc washington or oregon there and then you can kind of see these additional storms out over the open water it doesn't look like anything would bring any kind of big windstorm threat towards the pacific northwest as of right now and you probably notice some of this activity across the tropics down there i mean look at some of those storms rolling around kind of fun stuff looking at that at this time of year now, uh, something interesting here, there's a feature, again, not with Mario, but with the next system that potentially brings some moisture up towards Oregon. And we're going to look at that here briefly. So there's Sunday's rental system. You can see it swinging through. We got the artificial intelligence on the left, European on the right. We put this into motion and you can see this next upper level low creeping up the coastline there. And you notice the shape of this ridge. The European has it a bit further north and this would allow this tropical moisture to move back up over Oregon and portions of Washington much more readily versus what the artificial intelligence is showing this would clip portions of oregon but the, the westerlies here in this jet stream would carry this moisture off to the east much quicker than what the european is showing so a little bit of an interesting forecast coming up here this could bring thunderstorms up towards the washington cascades or this could get shunted off to the east we're going to be watching that one closely over the next few days and that is for an early portion of next week we're talking tuesday for oregon maybe wednesday across the area now total precipitation in inches so there goes some of our tropical moisture up across oregon today and then on through saturday you can see some of the uh, fairly isolated thunderstorms there across portions of oregon then the frontal system runs through and look at this some of the cascades of washington up over an inch the olympic mountains maybe getting the bear gulch fire with a few hundred or a few tenths of an inch of precipitation bigger amounts across vancouver island southwest bc this is good for any kind of fires that are still ongoing and smoldering out there as well Haida Gwaii all the way up towards southeast alaska just continue to get hammered here over the next few days and then we scroll up into the future a little bit more and uh, that's the end of the run but you can kind of see that moisture moving northbound there i won't worry about that too much just yet drought monitor uh, this is in with the old out with the new so the new one here is on the left uh, just some very slight changes but the overall picture remains uh, generally the same here across the pacific northwest but we do have some good news and let me scroll through here we'll go to the seasonal outlook and you can see this uh, we do have a uh, drought remains but improves here this is the forecast for september through december 31st and it would be kind of exceptional if this weren't the case we're headed 
added on into the fall months. And yeah, but a drought removal likely for some of the green areas, including the Washington coast, Northwest Washington, some points. But yeah, I mean, as moving into the fall season, this it would be exceptional if this were not the case, but that is definitely a good thing to see. And there again, you can kind of see it. And then I can go back and forth between the drought monitor where it is now and where the improvement is likely. So yeah thumbs up for that now six to ten day temperature outlook september 23rd through 27th still got the above normal i mean for the entire lower 48 states actually and then you can see the above normal continues with some troughing likely with us here across the west coast as we go towards the end of the month eight to 14 day look at that starting to paint a little bit of a below normal signal there as we go towards october 1st we'll see how that turns out in september end of september here above normal precipitation signal as well yeah and check out the patreon page if you like um i'm gonna go ahead and get this video out feeling a little bit better here today um, my son and i man we got the cred in this head cold i heard it's going around a lot a lot of kids on the soccer team a lot of kids at school apparently have the same uh, illness there so yeah hopefully you guys are all feeling pretty good out there uh click like and subscribe we'll do this all again tomorrow and check everything out and i will talk to you guys then